Well, we're looking at a, uh, a liter LDC 823. It's a um, 250 megahertz counter. Uh, it has eight digits. It um, has three different range uh, gate times, 0.1 second, 1, and uh, 10 seconds. Measures frequency and period. Um, has an 80 megahertz, uh, 0 to 80 megahertz, and a 0 to 250 megahertz uh, switch for the frequency ranges, two ranges. Sensitivity of 20 millivolts RMS or 200 millivolts RMS on the 250 megahertz. One meg ohm impedance or 50 ohm impedance. You have your choice. So you can use this on a uh, within a circuit, uh, or you could use it on the output of a, a transmitter. It really wouldn't matter. Just watch your voltages and don't uh, don't exceed the ratings. The um, it's a very pretty unit. This unit is in excellent shape. I don't, there's not one scratch on the front panel or the faceplate. The uh, it's a beautiful aquamarine color. It's uh, not going to come through very well, I don't think, on this video, but uh, it's a beautiful aqua color. Uh, the digits are quite large. Uh, I'm going to say approximately three quarters of an inch looking at it. Um, case is in excellent shape. Having been protected by a laminate of plastic that was put on by the uh, previous owner. And uh, I peeled the plastic actually accidentally when I was uh, removing some stickers on it and discovered what, what had happened. And because they did this, this unit is in excellent condition, like brand new. I mean, the paint job, there's not a scratch on it anywhere. The handle's in excellent shape. Beautiful metal finish with the uh, uh, oh, a slight uh, orange peel kind of a finish to it in uh, in green or sage green. Very nice unit all the way around. Even the rear here has the. Uh, Place to wind your cord, internal, external uh, uh, input, output for the um, time base. So if you wanted, you could run this thing off a rubidium source, like, like I have here on the bench, in which case you would be remarkably accurate. And uh, we're going to see how this thing performs in a few moments and, uh, and run it through its paces. So hang in there. Like all my units, uh, this one will come with a set of leads. Nice uh, new, brand new set of BNC to gator clip leads, uh, which is probably the uh, most universal lead I could give you for a, a meter of this type. And uh, we've got the instruction manual, which includes uh, theory of operation, uh, some calibration, and I've got the schematic diagrams on 11 by 17, so if you ever did have to do any work on it, you're not, uh, you're not without that. The 11 by 17 makes it much easier to read, too. So, there you have it. Happy bidding. Thanks for listening. Well, as you can see, we've got it uh, to within a tenth of a hertz right now. But uh, I know from watching it that it waddles around uh, as much as uh, plus or minus two hertz. So uh, that's about all I would guarantee. Although I would, I can show you and prove it here that you know we did actually get it to within a tenth of a hertz. And uh, so it has been calibrated, and it is reading accurately. And we're going to put it through its paces. So bear with me. Well, we've had this uh, liter 823S uh, on now for about 48 hours. And uh, it's held the calibration beautifully. As you can see, we are, we are holding 10 megahertz right down to the hertz on, uh, on this particular range setting. This is one second. If I go to a 10 second average and we slide things over one digit to the left, 
we're going to see what we get on the uh, on the additional digit that shows up. I think you're going to be surprised. And um, there we go. So you have a one, a leading one, a zero, three zeros, three zeros, and another zero. So we are accurate to 10 megahertz, right down to below a tenth of a hertz. And it's held this. This I've watched this uh, now for over 24 hours. It's held this uh, calibration. So it's uh, been calibrated highly accurately. It seems to be holding it uh, quite well. The unit has achieved temperature stability. I mean, that would, that's going to be a very important thing for any user. You just got to allow this thing to come up to temperature, which is going to take about 24 hours. So before you need to do anything highly accurate. Give it 24 hours to warm up. Otherwise, it doesn't matter. You can use it the way it is. It's still going to be within a few hertz. So I uh, just wanted to show you the calibration. I'm uh, quite happy with the results on this one. Okay, well, we've got this leader connected to this PTS 500 digital synthesized RF generator. And uh, we're going to run it through a test of its frequency range and... Uh, and its display capability. So let's, uh, right now we're looking at 10 megahertz and uh, we're going to take her up 10 at a time. Here we go to 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 210, 20, 30, 40, 50, Okay, we're at its rated limit so according to the specification. But we're going to continue. There's 60, 70, 80, 90. There's 300. There's 310. 20. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. All right, 370, we seem to be acting uh, a little odd, so I'd say we're kind of at our limit. I had it if I turn my voltage up to four tenths of a volt. All right, at four tenths of a volt, we're uh, we're okay. Let's uh, keep going. Here's 380, 90, 390. We're out again. So we're up to uh, half a volt at this point. And if I go to 400, there's 400. So with some decreased sensitivity, we can hit 400 with this. And we can easily do 350, even maintaining regular sensitivity.
There's 350 there, and uh, let's see, that's 350 at less than uh, three tenths of a volt. So, so there you go. Oh, we've got a top end that can run all the way up to 400. Let's uh, let's take a look at the bottom end. All right. There's 9 megahertz. Let's go ahead and put her on the 80 megahertz range. 9 megahertz, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 900 kilohertz, 800, 700, 600, 500, 400. Okay, at this point I've got to switch to a different generator. We're going to go to the Hewlett Packard 3320. We'll pick her up at 400 and we'll take her down uh, to 1. See how we do. Okay, we're at 400 kilohertz. There's 300, 200, 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Nine hundred hertz. 800 hertz, 700, 600, 500, 500, 400, 400, 300, 200, 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three. All right, we're going to go to a 10 second average here. We're going to try a two. Let's give it one more round because I made a switch there. There we go, there's two, there's one. Okay, I'm gonna say she doesn't like one hertz. But we know she did okay with uh, with two. There's two hertz. So we're able to read from two hertz all the way up to 400 uh, megahertz. 
So, uh, got a lot of range in this unit. A very beautiful unit, very attractive. It's been calibrated sensationally. And uh, if, you, uh, if you need to use it for something highly accurate, just make sure that you leave it on for 24 hours so that it temperature stabilizes and that oscillator should slip right back down into this calibration range. Don't fiddle with the calibration unless you, uh, you have the means to make sure that you get it even better, which is kind of hard to believe. But uh, like all my units, uh, this one will come with a set of leads. Nice uh, new, brand new set of BNC to gator clip leads, uh, which is probably the uh, most universal lead I could give you for a, a meter of this type. And uh, we've got the instruction manual, which includes uh, theory of operation, uh, some calibration, and I've got the schematic diagrams on 11 by 17. So if you ever did have to do any work on it, you're not uh, you're not without that. The 11 by 17 makes it much easier to read too. So. There you have it. Happy bidding. Thanks for listening.